Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do an unboxing review of some in-ear noise-canceling headsets. These headsets are brought to us by Sprocked, and this is the Confex Buds. Now taking a closer look at these uh, headsets, uh, this headset is going to reduce the amount of ambient noise up to 90%. So all the noise that's going on around you will be able to have that silenced out. Great if you're uh, traveling on the train, if you're going to be on a plane and you have, or you're just in a noisy environment, even in the office, if you want to drum out um, all that um, sound, office noise that could be going on, people chatting, people on the phone, um, good to have noise canceling headsets. Now if we take a look at uh, the side and we look at what's included in the box, you'll see that you do have the, uh, the battery case. Uh, where you would put your battery, uh, airline adapter, uh, you have a series of headphone uh, ear tips, and then you have a carrying case as well as a AAA battery, so it does require a battery. On the back here, if we get a little bit closer, you'll notice that, once again, it highlights the fact that 90% of the noise is going to be canceled, the fact that you have a three, uh, three mics that are going to um, really help uh, with conversations, and then also the fact that this is a multi-device uh, headset. So this is going to work on your Blackberries, on your Windows phones, on your Apple phones, Android phones, and this will also apply to any tablet as well. So let's do an unboxing, see what's included, and then we'll test them out and see how they work. So inside the box you're going to have this travel case which is a nice size and it's very pocketable. You have your ear gels, you have the airline adapter, the battery as we mentioned, a shirt or coat clip. This is going to keep the coat, uh, the, the cord coming from your headphones or headset close to your shirt or to your jacket. Uh, you have your uh, user guide and of course you have the headset. Now taking a closer look at the uh, headset itself, you'll notice that the cables are braided which is a nice feature. Um, hopefully that's going to help with durability and each one of the headset uh, earpieces is also labeled with right and left uh, marking so that's easy to know which one goes into which ear. Um, I've had other headsets like this that have this kind of fashion of an earpiece and I really like because this is really designed to provide a really nice seal so when this goes in your ear it's going to provide a seal so it's going to do two types of noise cancellation. It's going to do passive noise cance cancellation which means you're going to get a nice seal that's going to keep a lot of the uh, noise out. The second is the electronics that also facilitate the noise cancellation and that's why you do need that battery. So nice um, earpieces. You can see how that works right there. And we'll get a little bit closer right there so you can see it. And also the fact that both of them are labeled. Now this little area here, you'll notice that you have them on both headsets, really assists with the noise cancellation. So you'll have that. you notice that you also have an inline mic. So there's your mic right there. Uh, and then you have your play pause uh, function right here. Continue to go down. Here's our splitter. And it feels very well constructed. It's a very lightweight headset as well. So just keep on going down. Here we have our controls. This uh, control module is very light. Now keep in mind that we're going to put a battery in here when we turn this on. But you can see what controls you have there. So you have on and off. right? And then you have this monitor function. The monitor function is a really neat uh, feature because if you're on a plane or you're in a public area or you're on a train and you want to hear what's going on around you, any kind of announcements, you want to have the ability to push this button. You also do have a clip here uh, which is going to uh, nicely uh, connect to your jacket and it does have a lot of flexibility so you notice here so if you have a thicker jacket that's going to work nicely or if you have a shirt um, you can clip that on. Uh, you do have a standard uh, headphone jack so once again this is going to work with any uh, device, tablet, phone, laptop, you'll be able to use this uh, with, with any of those devices without any problem. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll put in a battery and we'll try these out and I'll let you know how they sound. So before we talk about sound quality I just wanted to uh, show you how do you remove the battery cover. So this is where the battery cover is and all you do is you press in the middle and push down like that and it's going to open up where you can house your battery. So it's pretty simple and then once you do that you just snap it in just like this and it goes back into place nicely sealed. So as far as the music quality goes, um, how was my experience? Well a couple things. Uh, let's start with noise isolation. So the n passive noise isolation, again you're not really using the active noise ca cancellation, you're just putting these things in your ear. It does a really nice job. Given the fact that, that these um, the gels uh, really go in your ear nicely, they're not uncomfortable to wear. I didn't really uh, experience much ear stress from having them on for long periods. I did uh, find that it did a decent job of canceling noise as it is, so it did reduce it. Now, what happens when you turn on the noise cancellation solution? Well, things get a lot better, especially when there's music played. So one of the things that I did is I with uh, no music playing. I turned on noise cancellation, so I turned it on like this, and you can see how the light turns on, and I wanted to see what was the difference between what I could hear 
and what I couldn't hear afterwards. And I could see that there was a noticeable difference in the sound, the ambient noise being completely muffled off, and what I could or couldn't hear. So it was it did a really decent job of doing that. Uh, the next thing I did is I could still hear things going on around me uh, because again this is only going to reduce up to 90% of the ambient noise. I then played music and with first I did it with the switch off and then I did it with the switch on. With the switch off I can tell you that bass is really good, mids and highs are nice and crisp and it did drown out the majority of the noise. I, I you know I could still perceive some of what was going on around me. If I raised the volume um, I was able to drown everything out but you know this is again an active noise cancelling headset. So what I did is I turned on the active noise cancelling just like that and I can tell you I can tell that I couldn't hear anything that was going on it did a really nice job of really killing all the noise that was around me and I was completely immersed in the sound good bass solid mids and highs very crisp and I had a really good experience I did try the monitor function and for the monitor function all you do is you press the monitor function and let's see if it shows up there but it did change color you see how it's that color you press it everything gets killed the sound the music noise cancellation and you can hear so you're picking up all the sound that's around you which is great again if you're in the train in an office setting and you want to be able to listen to what's going on you press it again and you turn the monitor sound off now one thing I did uh, was able to perceive when using these headsets is that I found that when I was using without the active noise cancellation, which is important because if your battery dies, you can still listen to music with this headset. But I did notice that when the noise cancellation was off, the music was louder, the sound. So I did some audiobooks. I did also some music. I used the Note 5, an LG V10, and an iPhone 6S uh, Plus, and they all performed the same. And I noticed that there was a volume drop when I turned active noise cancellation. Now. It's easy to adjust because all you need to do is increase your volume a little bit on your phone if that's something you want to do. But I noticed that it lost a little of the push or the pump that I was getting out of some music that had a high bass or even the mids or the highs lost a little bit. But it wasn't significant and I just wanted to highlight that. But for the you know the overall cost for this headset compared to some of the higher end headsets, it performed really well. And if you're really looking for a headset that's kind of like uh, a noise canceling headset that is going to give you some good music uh, quality, bass highs and mids, and you want something that's going to do a really nice job of uh, both ambient noise with the passive ability as well as the active ability, then this is a really good headset to check out. So this concludes our review of the ConfX Buds from Sprocked noise canceling headsets uh, for those of you who are looking for some peace and quiet when you're listening to your favorite audiobook or listening to some music. I want to thank Sprock for making this product available on our channel and I also want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this product, once again leave it in the comment area and I'll do my best to reply. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.